Hey everyone, the Mechanic Man here, and today I have a comparison video between the DeWalt 20 Volt Max um, 3 8 drive cordless impact and the Craftsman C3 19.2 volt um, impact driver. So, here. today I have a special guest helping me. So, hey, who are you? I'm Jackson, and Dan just told me to tell you guys to say hi. So yeah, Jackson is uh, my fiance's son, so yeah, he'll be helping me out. Um, so here we have the Craftsman C3 19.2 volt 3-speed impact driver that I've done a uh, video on, and I also compared it to the DeWalt 20 volt max um, uh, cordless impact driver. So this one is going to be comparing this one to the 3 8 uh, impact uh, wrench. So. As I said, this is the Craftsman C3 19.2 volt 3 speed impact driver. The weight of it without the battery is 2.75 pounds. From front to back, it is 6.5 inches. So this is 3 speed, so at uh, setting number 1, which has one light, it goes anywhere from 0 to 1,300 revolutions per minute. At setting 2, two lights, it goes anywhere from 0 to 2,200 revolutions per minute. And setting 3, which is the max, it goes anywhere from 0 to 3,400 revolutions, 3,200 revolutions per minute. So again, setting 1, 0 to 1,300, setting 2 is 0 to 2,200, and setting 3 is from 0 to 3,200. And with, uh, has a max of going from 0 to 3,400 impacts per minute. With, with a max torque of 1,605 inch-pounds or 133.75 foot-pounds. So besides that, um, three LED lights, very bright. Um, let's see, the gray on here is a rubber material and the black is a um, more plastic material. Um, I, I found this, well you can buy this on Amazon for bare tool, so just the tool has a um, screwdriver or a, a flathead uh, attachment, and a Phillips attachment, and it also includes this, which uh, you can put a socket on. So the bare tool, everything right here, it I found on Amazon for fifty-seven dollars and ninety-five cents. So there's that. I really like this tool. It is really powerful, a lot more powerful than the uh, DeWalt 20 volt max uh, cordless impact driver. So let's go and see what the um, DeWalt 20 volt max 3 8 driver is like. So right here I have the DeWalt 20 volt max 3 8 drive cordless impact uh, wrench. This is um, item number DCF883. Um, this one has, the way it holds on here is a hog ring, so there's a hog ring right there. Um, I find it a lot better than the uh, detent pin, like my hat Craftsman half inch impact driver does. I find it a lot easier taking the sockets off of it. Um, The length of it from front to back is 5.7 inches, so it is smaller than the Craftsman one, and the weight of it is 3.4 pounds without the battery in it. So it does weigh a little bit more. So, even though it is smaller, it does weigh a little bit more. 
Um, it only has one setting on it, but it is variable speed. So uh, depending on how far in you push the trigger, it goes anywhere from zero to 2,300 revolutions per minute. So. So that right there is less, actually, that is, yes, it is less than the um, Craftsman. The speed setting on this is close, is actually 100 revolutions more than speed setting two on this one. So this is speed setting two, and this is at full power. Can tell a little bit of a difference, but uh, full power on this just sounds a lot more power on the Craftsman. Um, max impacts per minute is 2,700 on the DeWalt, whereas with the Craftsman, the max is uh, 3,400. So it is 700 more impacts per minute with the Craftsman than on the DeWalt. Um, the max torque is 1,560 inch pounds, which equals 130 foot pounds. So, according to the papers, the uh, <clears throat> Craftsman has 3.75 foot pounds more than the DeWalt. Um, the black on here is a uh, rubber, rubberized, and the uh, yellow is plastic. Um, this is metal. I think it's aluminum. Um, but yeah, um, this one also has three LEDs. And the price for this, bare tool. So once again, no battery, no charger, just the tool. By itself, caught, uh, on Amazon is a hundred and twenty-nine dollars. So, basically, getting double the price of this right here, and you get less revolutions per minute and less impacts per minute, and your torque is a little bit less. Plus, um, I actually got this from uh, Sears. And it came with this, and it came with a charger, and also came with, oh, actually came with this battery right here. And it was, I think about, well, I only paid like, I think it was like $80, but it was on sale for just a little bit over 100 So even that is still less than the DeWalt. So the question is, is it... Was it was it a good purchase and is it probably a good buy? I think that it is. That um, the reason is because this will be a dedicated tool. This is dedicated specifically for three eighths sockets. Whereas this, it can do three eighths sockets. It can do quarter inch um, screwdriver bits, but it has a wide range. Whereas this one will solely be used for 3 8 Obviously you can get uh, different adapters so it can be quarter inch, half inch, all that stuff. But I will primarily use this for um, 3 8 um, Again, the foot-pounds really isn't all that much. It's only 3.75 foot-pounds of torque less. so. It's not really that much of a loss. So, I mean, it, it was a good buy. A uh, little overpriced, but whatever. Again, I would have bought a Craftsman 3 8 but they, I think they got discontinued. I don't know why. So, I just went with DeWalt since they already had all the batteries for DeWalt. Um, uh, things that I probably would have liked better is if it did if it had like different speeds I think that would have been a lot better if it had three different speeds just like this one 
Um, and just a little bit higher torque. I mean, torque is pretty good, but I would have preferred a little bit more since it is a 3 8 I think the, uh, I have to go back, but I think the uh, cordless um, impact driver was about the same. I mean, this can definitely get in a lot tighter areas than uh, the Craftsman, but there you can see right there the size difference. Um, so yeah, um, that's my comparison. Um, probably use this just for three eight sockets. Um, uh, yeah, if Craftsman ever does come out with a 3 8 uh, impact driver or impact wrench, I'm definitely going to get it. But um, yeah, this is the comparison for all you wondering, uh, oh, should I just stick with a uh, impact driver and just get a 3 8 adapter for it? Or should I just spend the money and get the 3 8 It's really up to you. Like, like I said in this video, they're about the same. I mean, Crafts, the impact driver is more torque, more revolutions per minute, and you get more things for it for half the price, for more than, for less than half the price of this. So, I mean, it's really up to you. Um, yeah, go on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash mechanicman92. Like, subscribe, share it. Thank you. Have a